Well, New Orleans city leaders and local agencies are preparing for the storm and the possible heavy rains headed this way. Residents can pick up sandbags at five different locations. Chris Jackman joins us at Station 27, which is one of the areas for sandbag pickups. And Chris, it seems like there was a lot of demand for those sandbags today. There definitely were, Natalie. We are out here around 4 o'clock today and saw a steady flow of people. Now we only see one person behind us collecting sandbags, but there's still a huge pile of sand right next to us, behind us right now. Now, we spoke to many residents who are out here, and they said even though Texas is getting battered by Hurricane Harvey right now, they're not taking any chances right here in New Orleans. With the help of his neighbors, Don Bradley's loading sandbags in his van. Born and raised in New Orleans, he knows all too well not to mess with Mother Nature. I've lived through Katrina, I've lived through Betsy, I've lived through Camille, I've lived through a whole lot of hurricanes, and I know that you're not supposed to take them lightly. Being disabled, Bradley also knows he needs to have a backup plan, especially if flood words make it difficult for him to get out. I've already registered with the city with 311, and so I'm all taken care of. I have all my medicines. Everything I have at home is ready. Bradley, along with dozens of others, spent their Friday afternoon packing sandbags. Firefighters and volunteers worked side by side, shoveling and tying them together, preparing themselves for the threat of heavy rains over the next few days. We've moved a lot more than we anticipated, so it shows you the demand. There is no place for complacency when you have a monster storm in the Gulf of Mexico. Mayor Mitch Landry, along with local leaders and agencies, say there's no threat for a mandatory evacuation at this time, but they're monitoring Harvey's path. This one looks like right now a rain event, but if it turns into a wind event, that can turn into an electrical outage event. And depending on where the storm goes and how it goes, you just have to be prepared. The NOPD and the NOFD have 24 high water vehicles and 39 boats ready to go. They also plan on staying open at five fire stations 24-7. I believe we've moved over 30 yards of sand from this location alone, and we just had uh, another 12, and we got uh, another six coming. So uh, as long as we can keep the sand flowing, if not, tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, it starts again. You know, like you said, this is not our first rodeo, so we're, we're prepared, you know. I have a good family that'll be there for me. And it's those preparations and family plans Bradley feels will keep him safe, no matter where Harvey decides to travel next. And again, if you want to get any more information, you can go to ready.nola.gov. That's the city's website to get any up-to-date information from them. You can sign up for 311 there as well. And of course, follow us at WWLTV.com and on Facebook for any developments and updates. Reporting live on Elysian Fields, I'm Carice Jackman, Eyewitness News. Carice, thank you. And again, sandbags are now available for residents in Orleans Parish, and you can pick them up at these five locations you see there on your screen. They will be available 24 hours a day until the threat is over. You can also find these locations along with other sandbag locations for other parishes on our website at WWLTV.com.